This video shows the endoscopic transpapillary gallbladder stenting in a patient with a gallstone disease. An 83-year-old woman admitted due to abdominal pain and fever. Abdomen CT showed a distended gallbladder GB, wall thickening, and pericholocystic fluid collection. MRCP also shows the same findings with multiple GB stones. Because of a high operative risk and the patient refusing surgical operation, we plan to perform endoscopic GB drainage. ERC shows the selective CBD cannulation using a JAG guide wire preloaded pull type papillotome. After successful guide wire placement into CBD, contrast injection into CBD was done to search for a cystic duct. At the same time, negotiate the cystic duct by to and fro motion of a guide wire as shown. After successful bile duct cannulation, negotiation of the cystic duct may be difficult. In such cases, the guide wire preloaded catheter using rotating sphincterotome, such as autotome, may be helpful in negotiating the cystic duct by rotation of the papillotome to search the cystic duct opening. Also, to search and see the configuration of the cystic duct, retrieval balloon occluded cholangiography is useful. Nevertheless, sometimes cystic duct negotiation is difficult in cases of cystic duct impacted stones or severe inflammatory obstruction. Repeated excessive manipulation of a guide wire may cause cystic duct injury. In this case, we attempted frequent insertion and withdrawal of the guide wire to introduce it into the gallbladder. To perform successful procedures, experienced endoscopists and skilled assistants are needed to control the guide wire. To coil the guide wire into the lumen of the gallbladder, the papillotome needs to be pushed into the cystic duct and then insert a guide wire in the lumen of the gallbladder as shown. Following withdrawal of the papillotome over the guide wire, a 7 French double peak tail plastic stent was placed completely between the gallbladder and duodenum as shown. With respect to complications, there were no serious post-procedure or delayed complications. However, a gallbladder in situ and biliary endoprosthesis without sphincterotomy may be a risk factor for late complications such as cholecystitis and cholangitis.